This is how you recode the CP40, CP50 and CP60 ranges of padlocks. The CP40 and 50 have four wheels. The CP60 has five wheels, but they're coded in the same way. All the padlocks can preset to all zeros. Now, with all the zeros lined up centrally, you'll be able to open your padlock. This is done on the CP ranges using the push button at the bottom of the padlock. Just press the button and the shackle will pop up. Now that the shackle is open, you won't be able to move the wheels freely with your fingers. You have to use the little recoding tool. If you look closely at the wheels, you'll see tiny holes either side of the numbers. Insert the small pointed end of the recoding tool into the first wheel into the hole and use the tool as a lever to turn the wheel. Rotate each wheel to the number you choose, effectively setting your code. Be sure to make a note of your code. You can write this on the paper fitting instructions that come inside the pack. Finally, you need to check that the padlock has accepted the new code and is working correctly. So first, push the shackle down and then using the push button at the bottom, press and pop the shackle up again. If the shackle won't close correctly, it will be because your new numbers are not perfectly lined up. So go back to the recoding steps but this time make sure that the numbers are perfectly aligned. Your padlock should now be ready to use. But this time make sure that the numbers are perfectly aligned.